This is the 1977 ARP Pro DGX. It is a preset synthesizer, one of the synthesizers that was popular in the 1970s for people who didn't really have their foot into synthesis but did want cool synthesizer sounds in their music, whether that was the home organ crowd or um, live musicians. These synthesizers were ideal for live musicians who wanted synthesizer sounds uh, and couldn't afford a full-on large synthesizer. So the ARP series of preset synths started with the ARP Soloist, which I think came out around 1971 or so. Uh, and then they went to the Pro Soloist, which was very similar to this, except for it had rocker switches for the presets, like these rocker switches here, which are apparently very flaky over time. ARP didn't always use the best materials, especially sliders. So the ARP Pro DGX is a new version of the ARP Pro Soloist that has, instead of the rocker switch, it has these digital switches, which is, I suspect, I don't know this 100%, but I think that's where the digital synthesizer idea comes from. Not that it's actually a digital synthesizer, but that it has digital functionality in its preset switching. Uh, because I know this is an analog signal path and analog sound. Uh, I, I think the digital part is simply <laughs> the digital selection, which is really fancy for 1977, I suppose, if you're into that kind of thing. But other than that, this synthesizer isn't so much a synthesizer as a preset device, which doesn't allow you to do any of the synthesis, but does allow you a little bit of control over some of the synthesis effects, which is sad for synthesis, but you know. Anyway, it's fully analog and it sounds fantastic. So because we don't have any functionality to explore, we really only have this control section and these presets to explore. So let's move through them. First and foremost, um, uh, okay, so I have chosen trombone as the sound I will use to demonstrate how these functions work. Uh, I will undoubtedly use some of them with some of the presets as we're going through the presets, but for now we're just going to choose trombone and hear what these controls do in regard to trombone. <laughs> So you can hear that trombone actually has a couple of things going on. It has a pitch vibrato going on. It sounds like it has some oscillator um, uh, audio range frequency uh, modulation of the filter. So anyhow, that's, uh, so those are the things that this preset already has before we get into some of the things we can do with it. Okay, let's just move across the panel here. We have octave transpose, which you just saw. I'm going to keep it typically in normal, but we also need to hear what the upper octave and lower octave sounds like. So here is the lower octave of the lower octave setting, I should say, of the trombone sound. Normal and up. You can really hear that frequency, filter frequency modulation and pitch modulation. So you have that octave control to fool around with. Uh, next we see over here is a portamento speed. Uh, the portamento switch is right here. So let's have a listen to that. Uh, there may be a calibration issue with this particular ARP Pro DGX because we're not really getting much portamento until we get up here close to the top. Mm -hmm. 
But even so, it does give you a fair range of portamento. And also, because you have the switch, you know, you could be playing along and... To do your 1970s portamento sweep sound to your screaming crowd, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so that is the portamento and the portamento speed. Of course, we have touch sensitivity, which we'll talk about in a moment. Then brilliance, which is really just a um, uh, filter cutoff control. It's not obviously the whole range of the filter, but it's enough to like darken your sound or brighten your sound. And of course, it's going to affect all these presets differently based upon what the filter arrangement is for each preset. I have the suspicion that we have more than a 24 decibel per octave filter in here. There might be some bandpass filters or high pass filters. I'm not entirely sure, but some of these presets make it sound like there are. So you do get kind of your filter sweep if you're into that sort of thing. Then the volume. I hope we have time to discuss this. Uh, if you turn it up, it's loud. And if you turn it down, it's quiet. The end. Okay. Uh, there is a switch here called repeat. It sounds like a sawtooth LFO that is directed to either the filter or the amp. And um, you can control the speed with this vibrato repeat speed uh, knob. So that's a lot of fun. Um, okay. You can really hear that vibrato going on there. Okay, next, the rest of these switches are touch sensor effects. So I've turned the touch sensitivity up as far as I possibly can so that we can hear uh, these effects readily and easily without me really pressing on these older keys. So let's have a listen. Vibrato is the first one. Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that note. Let's pretend we didn't hear that. As you can see, I'm applying vibrato with pressure at points that I think desire, at points that I desire it. Okay, so that's the vibrato. Uh, volume, we have an increase in volume, should we want it. I think we're pushing into distortion there, so that's a good increase in volume. So you can have a little boost in volume there should you need it. Of course, brilliance, which is the filter. And growl, which is a fast modulation to the filter. Wow, which is onomatopoeic for uh, the sound you get. It also, uh, 
on some of these I've noticed, turning this on, you'll immediately hear a filter affecting the sound before you even engage the touch sensor, which is interesting. Let's see if it happens with this uh, preset. Yep. So right away you've got your uh, you've got resonance on your filter. And then if you press, it uh, opens the filter a bit. Okay, without. With. And then with pressure. And of course, our old favorite pitch bend. Looks like we go up a minor third there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we can bend it up a minor third. So those are the touch sensor effects and the control panel of the ARP Pro DGX. Mm -hmm. 